And just like that, we're back again. Uncle Bokow in the building. You already know what it is. Look at that bad boy. Look at that. That's a monster right there. Guys, this is the chocolate Carolina Reaper. That's right. Guinness Book World Record, world's hottest pepper chocolate version, which means only one thing. It's hotter. Imagine that hotter than the world's hottest. All right, guys. Um, so anyways, yeah, and I'll, let me tell you something. I had a chocolate reaper a couple years ago that destroyed me, and I said I'll never eat one again. Um, and then uh, I grew seven pot chocolates for years. One of the, the plants was actually overwintered since 2021. That's how long that plant was, was, uh, was going for. And let me tell you something. That, that They were hot. So uh, Espicante Tomas and Johnny Scoville both compared my seven pot chocolates um, with uh, Chocolate Reaper. They said it was hotter. And Thomas said it's hotter than Chocolate Cream Italian. And I agree with him. I agree with him. Any Chocolate Cream Italian I've ever had. Now, with that Chocolate Reaper that I had years back, and I, I don't remember who grew it, was insane. Okay? So there's what the placenta looks like. Oh, man. First time smelling a chocolate pot for this evening, guys. you got to be kidding me. Man, I got some uh, the Taco Bell here. I, we can do a little argument while we're here. Pick one. Comment below. Which one do you like better? The Fire or the Diablo? Now, me, I haven't had the Diablo in years. I didn't care for it when I tried it. It had like a overly kind of almost fake lime taste to it. <clears throat> I didn't like it. My personal opinion, man. If you like that, hey, I'm not I'm not mad at you. So let's go in with some. We're gonna do some fire. What you do is you pour it right in the little crevice right there. See how it's going in? Yeah. That way there you can get more of it inside now. And we're gonna take a freaking monster hunk of that chocolate reaper. Oh yeah. Put it right up on there. Uncle Bokow, this is going to hurt. <laughs> Hot as all hell. The pepper's very fresh, crunchy. Wow. I'll tell you right now, I definitely was not ready for that. I feel like I'm going to get hiccups on Wow. Wow. Now, anybody knows me, I'm, I'm not a big fan of a Taco Bell dinner or lunch. However, I do favor their breakfast over most fast food breakfasts, so... It's been a while since I've been here, and uh, I had run the store. There's a Taco Bell right in the same parking lot, and I had a pepper on hand, so come on. I'm burning extremely from that. All right, let's, let's, give, him, let's give him a fair shake, the Diablo. I haven't had it in a long time. I like it. It's just that there's this <clears throat> could be citric acid or I know it's not real fresh lime juice or nothing like that. It's not gonna do anything like that, but it just reminds me of pledge, you know the stuff you spray on your desk and tables? And yes, people, I've tried Pledge before. Put a little bit on a cold pickle. Yeah, not not too big of a fan of the Diablo sauce. Some people like it, though. A lot of people do. So if you haven't done so already, comment below. Diablo or Fire? I'm so old, they didn't even have Fire back in the days. They had mild, medium, and hot. They got rid of the medium. Oh, no. I, this is what they did. 
they took the hot one, or the medium one, and call it hot now. They got mild, and then they got fire. Wow, I shouldn't have drank that water. Whew, I just ramped it up. All right, let's get that. Let's do the stinger next. So, the flavor of the pepper is hot as I'll have. It's earthy. I'm not picking up any bitter notes, but also I'm eating it with food. So, um, there's a floralness to chocolate pods, but I'm not getting any florals. It's beautiful, beautiful pepper right here. It's really hot. Uh, I mean, it's screaming hot. Screaming hot. My tongue burn is just very intense right now. Um, very, very intense. Now, throat burn won't be as, as bad when I'm not eating when I'm eating it with food. Um, but it'll come. It's it's creeping. Put it right there like a I don't know a Yoda. Definitely complements the breakfast very well. Now, I've been eating healthier the past couple months. I lost 20 pounds. Um, I am feeling a little bit better than I was. However, when I get around high humidity and heat, but mainly humid heat, I'm having some issues getting dizzy and stuff. So. For the past week and a half, two weeks, I've been doing it better. So, ooh. That's a lot, man. I'm definitely in a place right now where I'd say I'm outside of my comfort zone, right? I'm, uh, I'm burning to the point almost where it's like I'm doing a challenge. Mm-hmm. And that bite of food, because it's temperature hot, just ramped that up, like it made it sting really bad. I like being here. I like being, I like riding my comfort level. With certain burn I like to get to, and with pretty much every meal I eat, I'm getting there, okay? But then, that comfort level, that perfect heat level for me, and over that, it's usually challenges, but not always. Sometimes it's just food. It's ramping up now. All right, it's to a place where I don't, I don't, I don't care for it as much. But I'm getting a bright ear burn. Oh yeah, I'm freaking lit. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'll try one more bite of this Diablo sauce, but I just it just has a fake it has a fake lemon or lime flavor to it. No. I don't like it. No, fire sauce is not <clears throat> the best thing in the world. But it's just a basic taco sauce, right? Probably some dried chilies and tomato in there. Spices. And, uh, like a good old taco sauce, people. You can take a nice... Oh, it's burning me so bad. You can take a nice taco sauce or a, um, enchilada sauce. And you can just pimp it out. So, for me and Mrs. Bokow, I buy the Hatch brand enchilada, organic enchilada sauce. 
comes in a can. It's very expensive for a can of enchilada sauce, but it is organic. Um, and it's kind of just flat, right? It's 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 okay to eat like that. It's just we're just lacking a little bit. But you throw some some super hots in with it. Um, you can even throw some more spices in with it. You're talking a top-notch taco sauce that if I went out on the market with that, it would sell like crazy. Like, just adding one or two ingredients to it. <clears throat> so, I do like the basic taco sauce. Wow. I can't believe where I'm at right now. I'm burning hard, man. That is a freaking scorcher. All right, let's get another slice in me. The biggest chunk yet. I'm gonna go bulk out. This is gonna sting. Blows away the the red Carolina Reaper. Blows it away, man. Wow. I did get a little bit of floralness in that because there was more placenta in that piece, but not bad. I've acquired a taste for chocolate pods. Now, this one's actually just perfectly ripe. If I'd have let it sit, now don't get me wrong, I have another one. It's this big. It's huge at the house. I'm going to eat that one in about three, four, five days. I'm going to let it get soft because I enjoy the sweetness that comes out of them. They're like that. So, we got pods, man. It's pod season, guys. What do you think about that? You know? <clears throat> some of the Florida growers, some other people around the country got pods right now. And, uh... You'll start seeing more pod reviews trickling in. I'm sure Johnny will have a box by next week. And uh, Scoville Unit said he's got a couple boxes coming. Pepper Paul, he's got some yellow reapers from uh, from Ben. They're an excellent pepper. And yes, some people don't like to order a whole box of the same pepper I do. I ordered boxes and big boxes of those yellow reapers last year, man. I survived off those things. So, all right, guys. I'm burning intensely right now. It's not going down. Um, this is such a good pepper. I, I absolutely love it. I can feel it in my gut already, which I don't like that part of it. But Uncle Bokau, I freaking love you guys. What? <laughs>